Hey guys, today we're going to talk about mechanical wall following. Mechanical wall following is when a robot uses side wheels to travel along a wall. And it is really useful in helping the robot move accurately since the field's walls are generally straight. Here's what it looks like. Here are some ways I've used mechanical wall following in my robot runs. Now let's build this wall follower. Here are the pieces we'll need. First, let's take our two wheels and take our four frictionless pins and put them onto each side of every wheel. Next, let's take our two pin connectors and put black pins on each side of them. Last, let's take our frame and put our wheels into these holes in the corners. Let's take our pin connectors and insert them into these corners. And then we'll take our other frame and attach it on top of all of them. Like that. However, we aren't done after we build our wall follower. Where we place it on our robot is also important. If we want to be moving forward with our wall following, our wall follower has to be placed towards the front of the robot, and here's why. If it is placed too much towards the back, this will happen. There are two things you can do to make your wall follower more effective. First, in the program, you can slightly increase the power of the motor that is furthest away from the wall. You can do this using the move tank block which allows you to set different power values for two different motors. On my robot, the motor we need to change is the B motor, so we will increase the power of the B motor from 50 to 51. What this change does is basically tilt your robot towards the wall a little bit, which will help your wall follower stick to the wall better. Second, you can start your robot at a slight tilt towards the wall. This will help you make sure that the robot is clinging to the wall when the program begins. As you can see, as the robot moves forward, it will straighten itself out and stick to the wall better. So if you have put your wall follower on the right place and you've used the two tips, here's what successful wall following should look like. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, please hit like and subscribe. See you next time.